what's the most appropriate thing you could look at after that amazing intro? That's right, baby. It's Ro Sigma time. Welcome, everyone. What a what a great track. <laughs> Welcome back to Ro Sigma, everyone. It's time to play some more. I've been looking forward to this. I have been. Every, th those Ogrens got me acting up. I've been looking so forward to it that I actually played a little bit of a Garzman campaign offline last night. Uh, it was actually really good. I only lost one person in it so far to a gene stealer cultist running out of a knife. Uh, it, it's great. Um, I'm getting, getting the hang of things. I actually tried my new platoon structure in the offline and I'm ready to use it in the online now, I think. Speaking of which, where did we end off last time? What was the last mission we did? I don't see anyone wounded, so that's good. Chimera is crewed up with 20 people, but- Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I remember the last- <laughs> No one wounded, but we're missing four slots. I remember what happened. Yes, no, Conrad on the wheeled heavy bolter getting insta-killed by a blue horror grenade. Now I remember everything. It's all come back to me now. Unfortunately, we don't have another one of those. But we'll make do. Um, we've, we, yeah, we'll make do. That's not quite what happened. <laughs> Says Garfor. Well, look, there, there was a stomp as well, but... <laughs> look, that, that was more like not my fault as well. Is there a mission on the deck? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't see anyone on these amazing... Oh my god, look at those graphics. Look at how the texture... You ever notice that? How the texture of the terrain doesn't move as your view does? Mm, that is like some delicious, like... Delicious blast processing. Oh yeah, that's some good shit. That's the good shit right there. God, I, I don't know how I haven't seen that before because now I can't stop looking at it. How have I never noticed that before? <laughs> it's just like real life. Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't see any missions on the deck. Which leads me to remember what the frick was I doing. I'm doing basic training. I have motion scanners. I can get more office promotions if I want, which I don't think I need right now, right? Can make more Kriegers. We got blah 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 blah. Doesn't look like anything we super need there. I feel this is why I never noticed either. It's weird because it's super noticeable now that I can see it. Black Geek says, so are those big N and E's like drawn on the terrain, do you think? Are those like the Great Wall of China? Well, you think these are like real terrain features? <laughs> we couldn't figure out any other way to do it for the Lord General, so we did it this way. Uh, I feel like I'm just gonna have to chill. Um, we are in a new version of Ro Sigma, by the way. A new version of Brutal Air. Thank you very much uh, for a new version of Brutal Air, a new version of Ro Sigma here that we're on today. Um, the Brutal AI creator is, has been spotted in the VODs on the VOD channel. Uh, posting comments, and they're saying they're enjoying watching everyone get bimbified, so I'm very pleased about that. Thank you very much to them um, for giving us this wonderful challenge, and thanks to the new version of Ro Sigma as well. Um, Grenade's got a tiny, teensy little bit of a butt, uh, butt, buff, and other things as well. Yes, praise Zimli. Wait, no, Z Zimli. I said it like Gimli from Lord of the Rings. Praise Zimli. It's like Gimli with a Z, with an X, <laughs> with a Z, with an X for Brutal AI. Grenade butt, grenade buff, yeah. Um, my, my thoughts are all over the place. Oh, we're getting bird trades built, that's right. My thoughts are all over the place, but I want to keep it going. So I think we're just like advancing time. Oh, I bought a second Thunderbolt, good for me. That's what I was going to say, is that we can do heavy bolters now. Because with the new version of Rose Sigma, the heavy bolter ammo bug is gone. It's gone forever, we can get it, we can get it. Thank goodness. 
Heavy bolters are back on the menu. Huzzah! I also want to point out that Philip added another submod of less zinch in the first month. So if we restart any guard campaigns, less zinch in the first month. I played an offline campaign and fought a Nurgle UFO. It was fantastic. I loved it. Because we found out that apparently Zinch have like a 50% chance to be the first enemy you fight as guard. Well, it felt like 100 for me. What does this give us? Oh, we still haven't got this for Melters. Probably about time we get on that. But, but we can get missions. More missions. This is two equals and two dashes, while this... Is also two equals and two dashes. Okay, um, probably gonna do that first then. Let's get weapons rack. Philip says that mod is obsolete with the Rose Sigma update. Oh, <laughs> nice. Good to hear, honestly. All right, Thunderbolts away. Hang on. Crassus here. Let's get you equipped. No, Festina. Festinia, you're next. Off we go. And we wait until the everyone catches up, and now we're both. We do the classic. <laughs> The classic Open XCOM multi interceptor interception. That was a medium UFO. That's pretty big. I know it's so loud, yeah. That's why I stopped talking. Sammy says, Dan Beagle got the streamer clout. I complained about the Zinch thing like four months ago, and LaFleur just ignored me like the person I am. Because you don't complain loud and annoyingly enough like I do, Sammy. Alright. So we've got the Sentinel. We've got a whole bunch of fun tech here. Do we need more tech? Let's take away all the normal shotgun shells so they're all automatically loaded of stun rounds. You did? You were all cats pinging him in the XCOM channel? I guess you just don't do it like me, I don't know. It just kind of seems like you don't do it like me. I don't know what to tell ya. Do better. That's all I can say. <laughs> I am a spoiled streamer, it's true. It is true. That is who I am. Looks like we kind of got everything I need here. Oh, we need more crack grenades because I actually like these now. LaFleur gave me good advice. Ooh, spoiled as well. I get good advice too from LaFleur. LaFleur gave me good advice to use cracks instead of frags and they are much better. And they are the grenades I should have been using this whole time. And I've learned that now. That's all right. I blew up a, a dirt bike with them last night. It was great. Okay. Um, let's do a bit of a reorg here. Everybody's favorite thing to do on Roy Sigma. Do a reorganization. Yes, let's do it. I'm going to reorganize into my new system of three teams. And you're all going to see how effective that is. You, you have no choice. You're all going to see. You're going to see how effective that is. So we're not going to do a team full of Ds anymore. <laughs> These nuts. Everybody loves that joke. Wait, you people... No, where is... I need more marksmen. Yeah, I think it's time for more raffles. Oh shit, it's time for more raffles, legitimately. Legitimately, it's time for more raffles. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta... Wait, wait. That means I need to open up the raffle. It's not open yet, hold on. Oh, I can open up the raffle too with my favorite new meme as well. Hang on. <laughs> my favorite fan art that someone made. Ah, shit, where'd it go? There it is. Here's some... <laughs> Who made this? I have to get credit for this now. Was this... Where, 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 where? Where is the fan art gallery? Who made this? 
I can't remember their name. It was Bean. That's right. Bean made my new favorite fan art of Roy Sigma. <laughs> I really love this. I especially love the mortars used as poker tokens with the colored chips on the table. This is exactly right, and this is what we do here in Roy Sigma in the Guard. <laughs> this is correct. As I take us over uh, for your chance to be part of Mortar Pit, I take us over to the raffle. Okay, exclamation mark raffle is live now. Get your exclamation mark raffles in, and you could be next. You could be the next mortar pitter. Uh, while you're getting those raffles in, I'm going to do my reorganization here. So one, two, three, four, five. I want two Ds for you, I think. I want two Ds. I want some Ogrens, actually. Ogrens up top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. A couple of Ogrens. Uh, and we're probably going to, like, take out one of the marksmen. No. Keep a D. Take out a G. G go down. We're going to name him in a second, but I'm trying to do like three different teams here. So that's one team. Now I want a another team, so we're going to bring up some more marksmen. What's he doing? What's he doing? You'll see. You'll see what he's doing. You'll see. I'm making... Instead of having a D team, a G team, and an M team, I'm making D, G, and M all be in the same teams. In, in blends. Drogma, you want to come back? Here you go. D, G, M, M. I need another G. And not the lieutenant. I need another person to basically be in charge of that. Probably give him another Ogren. Give him another Ogren, yeah? Like, the Commissar's team can still be like the more assault flavored one and get two of them. But give me another Ogren here. Uh, let's go with... Why is there a two on the end of Nanki's name? I don't know. Um, but it must be a good thing. That too must mean a good thing. So I'm going to bring you up. And we're going to have a new Ogren raffle today as well. i got to buy more Ogrens. Ogrens are really good and I need to have a lot of them on every mission. At least until I have Beast Guards to fill in with them as well. Um, so that means someone else has to come out as well. So that's... One, two, three, four, five, six. And I need another team of six. One... Too, too many marksmen. Need some more grunts. One, two, three, four. Maybe instead I should put the marksman up here. Okay, hang on. Send a couple of marksmen up here instead. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Less raffles for you than promised, but at least there's one raffle because there's going to be a new ogren. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's too many still. There, like that one seven okay and then we're gonna have uh we don't need two d's here don't need two d's dad one two three uh-huh lack geeks like your little platoon baby so you would still be there one two three four five i know i don't really explain this because i'm trying to get it done for you one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, getting another Ogren in here would be good, I feel like. I think having four Ogrens is really what the Imperium needs here. So there's going to be two new Ogrens at least, I think. We're going to have four Ogrens on one mission. Can you believe it? I certainly can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Um, probably replace one of the G's with a D. No, G is fine. G is fine. And then that leaves the middle team. One, two, three, four. Only four. That's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Who, who is on here that shouldn't be? One, two, three, four. Oh, no, I have two more spots. Perfect. Okay. So that middle team here. Uh, we got an M2, M1, D. So we need to get rid of one of the D's and replace it with more G's. And maybe yet another Ogren. And then, yeah, that'll be... Uh, you've got your Ogren right here, so there's your Ogrens. So that's four Ogrens. I need a couple of Grunts now. So let's bring up a couple of Grunts. Let's bring up Danfall. Hoops all Ogrens. I might just do it. Ogrens are pretty good. Do I have another Grunt that I can fill in here? 
Uh, I'm going to grab one. So Remy over here, you're going to be raffled as well. Okay. So the idea here is we have three teams of around six. Um, and if I'm very, very lucky, they're even in the right positions. They are fucking not, because the heavy weapons platforms ruin everything. But that's okay, we're going to fix it. Hang on. So. Ah! The noises. This is Team 1, Lieutenant Brassica, Latgeek, Chatson, XCOM Please Dad, Cuddy Wampus, and Bede. Who is Bede? Let's find out. Oh my god, that music. <laughs> it's Zalost. Zalost, you're in. Oh my god, this King Arthur ass music. Zalost, you're in. Wait, wait. The music, it's too loud today, I can't. Sometimes the music just kicks in too hard for me. I'm sorry. Here, yeah, you don't have to wear a t-shirt, you can wear armor. Uh, Remio, the Krieger, you are... Lloyd Boy! Lloyd D. Boy, you're in. Lloyd D. Boy, you're in. And... Du, 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 du. Nanki is also... Stormy Jeb, you're in! I think that's all of them, right? So I think if you weren't raffled, that's it. Sorry, that was your chance. You're done. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. Dash Billions is a sentinel. What about the other soldiers? Well, they're already raffled. <laughs> I'm not gonna re-raffle them, they're already done. One, two, three. Dash Billions is a sentinel, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Give the ogre an armor? I just might. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. God, this music is pumping. We're going on a really big mission. We're going on the medium UFO, so pumping music is apt. It's about to get crazy. First mission? Yeah. You're here for the first mission. This is the Ogren theme? <laughs> Maybe. Do you have any weapons? I got Lucius's all over the shop. I got Vosprat and Laz guns. Here, have some. Have one. Have one, officer. Lieutenant, there's a new ping noise for grenades when you cock the spoon off and it's fantastic. We love it. Fantastic stuff. Added that, it's so good. It's such an important noise to add. Adding crack grenades to everyone because Leflair was right. They are the light in the way. Get these frag grenades out of here, we hate them. Super gun. God, look at your face! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. Frags have improved. Yeah, they have less to use to use. That's cool. I like that. I wonder what kind of alien we're about to fight. I mean, what kind of enemy? I'm trying to, like, talk over the sound of the fucking horns. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> Those horns be fucking crazy out here. <laughs> it's crazy out here. I can't believe how hyped the band is. Oh my god, they brought a guitar in! It's crazy! What? I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the horns. I'm sorry. Should I just put Lucius on everyone? No, they can't they can't full auto. No, I shouldn't. Lucius is can't full auto, I just remembered. They're more of a uh, DMR.
Damn, you're getting strong. I like to see it. I like to see it. You're getting quite tough out here. It's good stuff. I know they're about to hit me with those insane horns again. Here we go. Alright, so you're all done. Now I'm just gonna make sure that the mortar is in a good position, I think. Well, actually, you know what I can do? Wait, save game. So there's this new thing you can do where you can test deployment in the hangar like this, apparently. Wait, but this doesn't let me reset it, does it? No, it doesn't let me reset it. This is just a test. Never mind. But I can give them the right um, colors at least. Hang on. So, for one, uh, very important we do this. I think the game is... Oh, I know what's happened. Oh, the game is just... Resigma's just louder overall because this is a new install of Brutal... Brutal... Uh, I, I see. It's a new XCOM install. That's why the music's so loud. It's because the game is just louder. How about this? The Sentinel very important here, though. Oh, yeah. What if you shoot the turret? Yeah. That sounds like more normal. I know, I, I know the screen is black. I know, I know. It's because I was doing stuff. But thank you for reminding me. So, I turned it off so you didn't see my desktop when I alt-tabbed. Don't panic. Um, anyway, let's do some colors here. So... I want to put you all into your team so it's easy to remember who's who. So you got the Lieutenant. Uh, we're going to make Lieutenant, Lat Geek, and Katzen all blue if they're not already. They are. Good. We can get going whenever you're ready. And then who else is in your team? XCOM, please, Dad. You're now in this team. So how do we get to that? Where is blue? Not that blue. Perfect. Killing's easy. It's keeping people alive that's hard. Cuddly Wampus. Who's a cuddly Wampus? Is that the color I want? It'll it'll have to be. And the lost. Congratulations, the lost. You are also on Team Blue. This is a new way of doing things around here. This isn't how we like do it normally. I probably want to stick the heavy bolters in different teams as well, um, one in each. But it's all right. We can just kind of have them both in the single team. That's I, I guess it's okay. It's okay for the team to still have like different kind of roles. Um, so Anarian, y'all. Yeah, y'all can be in Team team Teal, as it seems like you already are, I think. That's just fine, I think. We can get going so who else is in ready. Team Teal? Dan Fall. So we got to change your colors back up. God bless this mod. I love... I love that we have this, honestly. I love that we have this option. Philip really does make the best... The best mods, folks. Just the best Reporting, mods. Reporting, sir. It just makes it so much easier to tell what's going on in a battle. There you go, you're done. Gotta say, I like the new gear. And Stormy Jeb, you're also part of Team Teal. And we have Commissar Hopeless Dreamer who gets to keep their black cloak. And we'll make your team, uh, like, grey. Not tan, because tan looks just like the sandbags now, but like, grey. Or black, there you go. Team Black. Team Onyx. Okay, who apparently has the mortar. But that's fine, because you're not just an assault team now. Like, you, there, there, there's more going on here. Boom. You're quite proud of this one. The color mod. The color mod slaps, uh, Philip. The color mod is amazing. It, it really is just a pivotal part of, of this game for me at this point. There we go. And we got to support Philip's. We got the Sentinel, okay. So, now I should be able to go to the craft. And now I can, with the colors, quickly put the teams where they need to be. So we have Teal Team. Killing's easy. It's keeping people alive that's hard. Onyx Team. Killing's easy. It's keeping people alive that's hard. 
And Commander Blue Team. And we got these. Okay. So even if I have to do this every time, as long as they're color coded, it's a lot quicker to do. Even though we'd rather not redo this every time. It is what it is. So Ready Lieutenant action. over here. My geek with them. Killing's easy. It's keeping people alive that's hard. Do you have a D? We have an Ogren. Go like that. Okay. Sentinel over here. Um, and we're going to put another team up protects. here. Anarian. Pocketboy. Lloyd. Danfall. Ogryn and attention. D. And then we Deep put Team Onyx in here with the Commissar. Oh, should you have gone up here with where the mortar is? No, you've got the mortar, so it's perfect. Jeff says, how did you do the equipment test hangar? When you're sending a craft out on a mission, click on uh, hangar up the top, Jeff. It's a feature I didn't realize existed until I like accidentally clicked on it recently, and it's quite handy. It's quite good. Gotta say, I like the new gear. I might want to put the Onyx team up here, actually. I don't know. I don't know exactly how I want to do that. Um, Pulse, steady. Life signs, stable. Ogorins. Put D Gorgs up here. And Aster here. Killing's easy. And you there. And it's this, I think, alive, is hard. a pretty good looking deployment. And now we can go. That doesn't take too long at all. It's alright. It's like doing a pre. an XCOM like pre mission loadout. That's alright. Yeah, we're, we're working on that. Yeah, we're working on that. Oh, shit. Okay, now this is getting interesting. I wanted to wait for daytime, but I think we're going to be forced to go into the night operation on this medium medium crash if we want to also get to the... Where'd it go? We're going to just go in. Just scary, because this is a medium. It's a bigger ship. Okay, we're going to need some flares here. No one's got a motion tracker, too, I noticed. I'm going to have to pass those out. Hang on. Circles is despawned. What? It despawned instantly? Hmm. Oh, that's clever, Philip. I didn't realize those missions could despawn, like, instantly. That's rough, because those missions, like, suck a lot of points out of you if you, if you fail them. If you don't do them. I've never seen a mission despawn that quick. Damn, I guess you gotta, like, click on those instantly. Rip monthly points of nation. Yeah, that that sucks. What the fuck? I'm surprised that despawned instantly. This is the pain of being all mechanized with the Chimera, not fast with the uh, airships. I should have sent a Valkyrie out to cheese it to keep it running. I don't know if it works like that with Olex. I think it does. I think it does. Alright, we're gonna need flares and motion draggers, like I said. So... Come on, sir. Gorgs, Gorgs, you can bring a motion tracker, I think. Yeah, it's just a score penalty. It's alright. I got those mods on that make it so you can't, like, game over from score or being broke either. So, the main thing is, like, losing nation funding and not getting the sweet, sweet rewards we desperately want. And not letting, you know, the aliens spread bases all over the fucking planet and become unstoppable. Not aliens, you know what I mean. Enemies. Okay. Guffer says it does work, but open XCOM mods can choose whether to allow missions to despawn or targeted. Honestly, that should be a thing to make it so that you have to use Valkyries like I always used to. Because that's the only reason to use Valkyries is if you can't cheese them forever like that to get your... It, it'd be faster deployment. I like that. I like it when there's a reason to use Valkyries, you know? It's good. When you play, play Dark Descent again, um, there might be some modding coming for it. So I'm cooling off on it for the moment. So maybe that comes along. Here's what's going on with Dark Descent. Uh, Cuddly, I'm going to give you the other motion tracker, I think. There's movie accurate sounds mod. Oh, that's that's funny. Yeah, there's cool mods coming out for aliens. I'm really optimistic for the future of it. As a result, very optimistic. Are you planning on playing Dave the Diver again? Oh, no plans. No plans at this time, my friend. I've got to tell ya.
Okay, we got like a few flares here. Need some more, I think. The beagle did kick your ass. Well, that's even more reason not to, isn't it? Bunch of flares. Bunch of bunch of crunch of flares. And I just want someone to start off with the server I got ready to go to, I think. Support Philip. One of you can drop the server skill on the ground and let the little buddy exist. No, that that's asking for trouble. We need to actually like throw it. I say Lat Geek gets it. Alright. Have you looked at the X Pirates mod? Yeah, I'm, I've been aware of it for a long time. I'm not really interested in it. Alright. Isn't like you right at the back of the camera, correct? So here we are. Pew! And it's Zinch. <laughs> it's always Zinch. It's fucking birds! Okay. Hunker down with the turrets. Phil says, give me the skull people. I don't trust you. It'll, like, get these spawned into the walls again. Bird of a flamer. But we have... Doors. Hello, motherfucker. We're gonna do a look around with our turrets. A complete 360 of all our turrets to be sure we don't miss anyone. All right, and we're only seeing you and you right now. As you can see, it is a big old UFO. Um, this is why we bring four Ogrens, because we've got a lot of CQC to do. You've all got Ripper guns, right? Oh yeah, you're all ready to go. So we're going to stay in the uh, Chimeras for a bit if we can, while we clear out, you know, at least make sure there's no one behind us. Also, it's mind control, so again, we've got to be extra careful because fucking mind control. Um, you know, it's what it is. We're going to have to play this one like last time, except it's a much bigger mission. It's concerning that only seen two birds. It is somewhat concerning, I would agree with that. You die. <laughs> and you. There's like a new hit flashing on with the new version of Rare Sigma, which we can disable if we want to. Basically, when you hit an enemy, they flash red if you're doing health damage to them. Or they flash like white silver if you're doing armor damage. I don't hate it so far, so I'm leaving it on. Alright, so remember the really important thing here is that we don't want to expose any soldiers to the enemy's line of sight that can be mind controlled. So it's okay to have the, the, the servitors pop up, and it's okay to get the Sentinel out there eventually. And then the Ogrens after that are the most resistant to mind control, but any other unit, we really don't want to be going out of our way to show to the enemy until we're killing them with them. Um, it's just kind of how it is. Um, getting getting the server skill out there will be really good too, so look at the server skill out there. Sir. I should have done that with you initially. Pick up the skull, pass it forward. Go in your backpack, and we'll... <laughs> what is that? Is that 17 or 11? It's like, okay. Just a, uh, do, do, do these go off if they're in your inventory? I can't remember. I don't think they do, right? They don't. So I can wait till next turn. Ow, that was really hurty already. Ow. That turret got fucked. That was a big hit. Probably a hell gun. Hunker down again. And again, we're doing like another like look around. Just to be just to be safe. Fuck you. Yeah, you see so you can see like the armor damage live there. It's nice. We're gonna need to get her up some repairs over here. Seems like it'll like, be a long lines of hot shot. Yeah, it was big. It was a big hit. Pop up. As you wish. Drop the servo skull here. <laughs> um. And then. Wait a minute. Does the fuse tick down while it's in inventory? Because it's on one, so hopefully it doesn't go off till later. 
Hmm. Okay, maybe pick it up again and drop it off the side instead, but you can't get off the side. Shit. It's fine. The service girl will probably be fine. But what if it isn't? Fuck. The fuse shouldn't tick down. It shouldn't go off till it's after the alien's turn. I mean, the enemy turn. I think I'll also get try to get the sentinel out. Having a little looky around. Oh shit, fucking contact. Yeah, there they are. There's the, there's the fucking Zinch sniper. Ready to transport our men. Oh, we can't hit there. But maybe you can because they shot you, I think. Nope. Fuck. Where's that mortar? Gotta say, I like the new gear. Oh, I put I put the mortar at the front. What an interesting thing to do. Charge! <laughs> wait, wait. Yes, what am my I lord. Doing? Hang on, you gotta throw the fucking toolkit over here. <laughs> Shit. You can't. Fuck, it's not gonna have any accuracy. I feel like you can get away with that with a mortar. Because of just the way it works. I feel like it's fine. <laughs> yeah, the other heavy weapons you really need to like... But, but because it's like kind of this area of effect weapon with the waypoints... <laughs> Just wanted to say that he learned of Moot Dream and all the other Moot albums by Neil Cicerega from you, so thank you. Yes, sir. One question he did have was he saw Tex Nonots do a is releasing uh, in a week. Would you consider taking a look at if when it... What is Italy saying to me? Sitchin donated $10 and said, Just wanted to say that I learned of Mouth Dream and all the other Mouth albums by Neil Cicerega from you, so thank you. Yeah, they're fantastic music, I'm glad. Um, Sitchin also asked for the $10 donation. One question I did have, I saw the Xenonauts 2 is releasing in a week. Would you consider taking a look at it when it releases? We'll probably do a stream of it, but I can already tell you all that my opinions are going to be very similar to Xenonauts 1. But I expect a lot of people to ask about it, so we're probably going to do at least one stream of it when it comes out. Gotta say, I like the new gear! No, just play X Division, you idiot. Sammy, I'm trying... It, I, it's not because I want to, it's because everyone's going to keep asking me about it till I play it. You understand? You understand, Sammy? Everyone will keep asking about Xenonauts 2, gotcha. so we may as well like, do a check of its demo or whatever. For like an hour or two, it's fine. What are your problems with Xenonauts 1? It just has no soul. It just has, it just has no fucking soul to it. There's no character. Um, Come back down to here. Okay, so they're dead. Reporting, sir. Sammy says I know what the people really want. They don't. I mean, honestly, that's probably true. I'm not gonna load this mortar until I'm sure that I can't get mind control. Like no one mysteriously saw me here when I did that mortar. Which, as I was trying to say, I think it's great that basically you can just walk up and hip fire a mortar and then just go back down. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Maybe you just shouldn't be allowed. I wonder if there's any way to like just bar being able to shoot the mortar unless you're braced. If there was, they probably would have done it because it's kind of funny. Yes, most beneficial. Um, this servitor needs to come over here and get rid of the heal this turret, by the way. Reporting, sir. All right, next turn. Awaiting instructions. You're hopefully safe here. Not enough to use to honk. No. Damn it! That wasn't meant to happen yet. Fuck. Please don't kill my skull. I put it on- Ah! I put it on one! Why did I go off already? Leave my skull alone! Nice, the skull is okay. Phillips says it's almost impossible to block the fire of a weapon, rip. Okay, the skull is okay, even though it came up before I wanted it to. We're on fire a little bit. Just if anyone was wondering how that's going. Um, so we're a little bit brighter here than the enemy is in general. Why is why is there light there? Did I throw a flare? Or just the engines or light? Okay, so there's there's like a lot of bitches yes, there, no. which I can't see anymore, so they must have shot and hit as they do. That's fine. What is your will? Just come up. As you wish. 
Do a little bit of repairsies. Yeah, you're like kind of fine. You're not fine. You're not fine. Here to serve. They are not fine. What about this turret? You need help? You need a little bit of repairs? Oh, service good by the way. Let's get, let's go. Going high. Servisco, what do you see out there? Not a lot. Okay, Servisco, fly in closer. Take cover. Love that noise, it's a great noise. One of my favorite noises. For tanks that don't see shit, sir. <laughs> what, you're the skull? Specifically you? Also, I don't seem to be getting mind controlled, so we can hopefully do this. Load that bad boy up, ready for next time. Standing by. We should raffle the skulls. You can't name them. Does Servo Skull have MVG? Good point. Does Servo Skull have MVG? That's a great point. The turrets do, so. Phil says I can name him. Nice. But but then the name isn't persistent, so. But what does it matter? Philip means a submod, I reckon, where Philip names them all Philip. <laughs> Ready to transport our men. I like to be on fire, actually, it's cool. Keep hunkering. How can I see you? My god. Oh, there's a window there. Ugh. What? What did they just throw? What was that? Was that, was that at my skull? No! You fuckers! God damn it! <laughs> the servo skull is dead! Damn it! Every fucking time! With the skull! Fuck, and they're fucking still in there. Okay, well, this isn't getting any better out here. We're gonna have to assault them with the Ogrens, I think. Yes, Lord? I, um, what we can probably try to do is get out while they're not looking and set up the heavy bolters on, like, the hillside here. Um, I'd rather be in the dark, so I'd rather wait until the flames go away. But if I get into the dark and then, yeah, just, like, set up the heavy bolters. Maybe over on this hill, too. Just, like, watching. With, with the Vestroy and Laz guns, we can do, like, a long-range kind of, yeah, contingent there. And then with that cover, Ogrens can go in. No, no turrets can't reaction fire. Chimera turrets can't reaction fire. That's the thing. Because we don't have the heavy bolter turret anymore. And because the Sentinel also can't reaction fire. It lowers our, like, options here for I'm handling shit vigilant. without getting mind control, which is, like, the big problem with Zench, is you just can't be seen. If you get seen, the mission goes to shit very quickly. Which is, yes, you know, Lord. it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is with Zench. You just gotta play around it. Um, if I wait another turn, that fire probably goes away. So I, I think just keep waiting. Though... Philip says, by the way, is dynamic color change, like changing color depending on what weapon or chimera they sold in, something you'd be interested in? Uh, it's cool, but I don't know if I would be, because, like... Because, like, of the way it's, like, fiddly of stuff moving around, and... It's a cool idea, but I would not request the feature from you at the moment, thinking I'd use it, no, because I, I need a lot of manual control right now. Um, over, over my fuckers. I don't think automation... Uh, what, what I do really want is stat strings. Um, for... For the roster. That's what I really want in that in that kind of organizational vein. But I can't promise that I'd actually use that. Um, no. Can I blaster launch a mortar straight through this window? Okay, at that point, the mortar has become a javelin. And I'm using it as such. But it's brutal AI, baby. What are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna tell me I can't do that? You tell me I can't fire a mortar, or hip fire straight through the window. Reporting, sir. Coffer says we need to take this mortar shit away from him. 
<laughs> that's cheating. It's kind of cheating, yeah. It's, it's kind of like losing all morals of self-balancing the mortar. I won't do it. It's not fair towards Zinch, you're right, I won't do it. Um, because I'd be Philip Camp. Philip can't, that's the thing. I'm going to send this Sentinel over here to try and clear this... Um, oh, fuck, I can't. To try and clear this shit. Oh. Hello, motherfucker. What are you doing there? No shot. Phil says, there's still stat strings package of base 40k mod. How do I turn it on? I don't see any options. What nobody can stop me from doing is this. Let them have it! Oh, let them have it indeed, my friend. Indeed. Suck my dick, says the Imperial Guard. Oh, no, don't do it like that. Fuck. Excuse me, I need more mortar shells, please. Yes, Lanky. Pass them up. Pass them up. Yeah, it is Jover. We're fucking spotted. There's, there's like a sneaky witch watching this open door now. We're all fucking dead. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully we're okay here. Okay, next turn. Oh! I like it. I like the new feedback effect. It's cool. I like seeing the flashes. It's like a, it's like playing a fighting game, you know, like Street Fighter. I like it. Oh, there's more fire, by the way. Things are not getting better. Okay, where are the heavy bolters? Let's try and maybe dash for that hill while we still can. I think that'd be out of range of the heavy bolters is a thing. I think with the fire. But then, what do you do? How do you push this? Kinda looks like we blew open a wall over the mortar, damn. Maybe you've just gotta like, push the sentinel up here and push of the ogrens. Hang on, just take this corner and scout. Okay, we don't see anyone in there, so we should be good to get the heavy bolters out. Let's try it and get the snipers and the heavy bolters moving. Sh moving to cover. Excuse me? Excuse me? How do I... Oh, ogres are stuck with you, right. Let's try to get the ranged troops moving, okay? That is a big old rock. You should be safe. Go, 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 go. We must fight, everyone. Who else wants to move like that? I mean, the mortar it would probably be convenient <laughs> at some point. Um, not Gorgs. Probably sort of throw some flares out too, yeah? Though, come scout if anyone else looking at me from that door. Okay, looks okay. So Gorgs come out. Throw flare. Anyone else got some more? Pass me more flares. Ready to serve. Bro, chuck me those flares. We're here. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Chuck another one. Where? Can you get one over here? Enable the third here. Shit in the way. That kind of works. Yeah, that kind of works. Get okay, back inside, Gorgzy. And drop that... F uh, you can just pick it up again. 
Drop that flamer on the ground just in case. Should have left it out there. Alright, that's a couple of flares there. We need some more on the left, I think. Yes, most beneficent one. If anybody can get him out for us. Whoop. I don't see any fuckers there. I will do as you ask. Let's get some flares going up here. Oh shit! No, that means you're spotted! Oh no! No, that means Zinch has seen X Company's dad! No, this is terrible! I told you they're out they're out there in, in in the shadow. Oh, and I can't even shoot him through that fucking rock. Shit. It it is all over. It's Jover. It's Ock Jover Fest. Okay, now you gotta stay out of the camera. <laughs> you gotta like dro <laughs> drop your gun. Drop all your weapons and go hide outside here. Wherever I'm you have to be excommunicado now. You repair the turret. And you pick up the, the precious... Yes, Lord. Akatrans. Not everyone deserves to be saved. This is why flares are good though. Phyllis has DM'd you the stat string someone. Thank you! Appreciate it. Gotta say, I like the new gear! Reporting, sir. Hup, 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 hup. Not everyone deserves to be hey, Beagle, you watched John Wick 2, 3, and 4 yet? No, I haven't. Sterical says, wait, Beagle, they need to see you on their turn to mindfuck. What? No, they don't. Everyone says that because that's what the game rules are, but they, they ignore the game rules. They don't care. They do not care. We're here. They do whatever the fuck they want. I'm telling you, they do not give a fuck. They will do whatever they want. Gotta say, I like the new gear. Have you watched Spider-Verse yet, you lame-ass bitch? No, I haven't. This old head has not watched Spider-Verse yet, I'm sorry. Can I get up here? Yeah, why that way though? Come come this way. Oh, that makes you get like... You're gonna get fucked there. There you go. What? Stop the stream right now. I, no, I haven't... No, I just don't have time. I don't have time for it, folks. There's no time. I need energy, yo. Hey. S g give me stimulants on my way past. Whoop. Oh, my, my heavy bolter is so... What the fuck? Let's save some lives. Help, my heavy bolter is so illuminated. I'm gonna get seen. More stimulants for you. Reporting, sir. Surrealistic says I sense moments before disaster. Yeah. I do too, but what are we gonna do about it? I mean my control is weaker at range. We are pretty far away, is the other good thing. Killing's easy. It, it seems like this should be hard. fine. Devil says I wish to stay in this ship. <laughs> we got Orgrins here, we got Commissar. Where is the other sniper? You're here, but we're not going to move you out just yet, I think. Okay. Ready for next turn? I think. Or are we? Reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> I await your instructions. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out! The sentinel pilot gives a thumbs up over to you and pulls their horn like a trucker. Honk, honk! You have my control, but I have mortars. 
We're here. The mortar may be too strong. <laughs> it just doesn't need accuracy, so it doesn't care about bracing. Yes, most beneficent one. All right. Next turn. No! Throw it down. Turret is so down. Got it. Ready to transport our men. Hmm. You haven't been mind controlled yet, X Complete that, so that's good. Maybe they didn't see you. Maybe it's all good. Somehow, maybe they didn't see you. They probably saw you. There's enough smoke to assault now, surely, says Strata. Oh, you little baby second lieutenant of the Imperial Guard. You wouldn't even survive to see Cadia splinter into rocks. No, you you think this smoke is protection? Strata, back to Officer Candidate School for you. Reed Rubik says, imagine firing the mortar single-handed and flying back into the Chimera from the recoil. <laughs> oh my god, I am imagining that. You... You, the, the Virgin Imperial Guard Junior Lieutenant. Surely with smoke we can now make a tactical assault on the UFO. Me, the experienced XCOM 69th Regiment Commander. You are like a little baby, watch this. <laughs> mortar Gunner runs out, screams, hip fires the mortar and gets flung back into the APC by the recoil. <laughs> Kingdom Sword says, if when the Sentinel dies, instead of the destroyed vehicle noise, it needs to play the honk noise, but slower, so it sounds like sad honks. Ho 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 Alright, we, <laughs> we need to get the, uh, the heavy boulders in position. What the fuck? Everything's so fucked here. Can I adjust this mid... Mid-game? Hang on. Uh, the, the Brutal AI person said that they put in a thing to fix, like... Uh, map bugs, but then it, like, makes other map bugs from the buggy maps. So, where is it? They said it's a toggle that you can turn on and off. Where Where is it? Brutal AI... Turn it weapon, battlescape. I don't see it. I know I've seen it before, but I don't see it right now. Oh! Strict checking for blockages. There it is. So if we take that off. Yeah, so now we can move up here. So you gotta like turn this on whenever you have problems with stairs and stuff, is what the brutal AI person was saying. Which is very nice of them, by the way. Thank you to the brutal AI person for doing that. Jodicle says, reminder, you can put pilots in Sentinels, they get insane accuracy and reaction bonuses. What? Oh! What? 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 Hang on. I mean, that makes sense that you could put vehicle pilots in Sentinels. But wait, so I've never tried that. Air Airmen can get... Sentinel armor? Huh. How does Sentinel of 120 accuracy and 100 react once? God damn. I mean, that'd be cool if you get a Sentinel with reactions. Yeah, it works. That's cool. I guess we should be doing that then. Yeah, because pilot training gives aim. But it's offset by the pilot jumpsuit. Yeah, but then if you put him in a Sentinel. Holy shit, I didn't know you could do that. I did not know you could do that. Thank you. That's cool to know. That is very cool to know. Um, let's put you there. Anarian. Pilot training. Oh, is it like a thing I have to do that I haven't done yet? Dig in with that heavy bolter there. Car generals don't want you to know this one trick. It really seems like they don't. I think I'll bring another bolter over here over long turns. Um, we're gonna come to here too. 
Oh shit, motherfucker. Contact. They're bleeding! Fuck! I can never hit with this fucking thing. Reporting, sir. But you know who can hit? I gotcha. I can't kill you, but he can. Who I, I need more mortar shells. Give me more mortar shells. Lloyd boy! Pass us another mortar shell. By pass, we mean, of course, throw. Ogren, just like in football, run it out and football toss that over there. You can do it. Fucking Sentinels in the way. Hang on. What a pass! Wait, what? No, you can see them, but they, I don't think they can see you. I think it's fine. Now someone just needs to go out and get that for you, Ogren. Ready to serve. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Imagine how much easier Blood Bowl would be if you had a mortar. <laughs> oh my god, alright. We need another flare over there, we just blew it up. <laughs> Batab says, this time, Sense Trooper. Wait. <laughs> I've gotta let my cat in the bedroom, be right back one sec. Defiance says, Biggs, have you considered disembarking from the transports and opening fire of your mighty last guns? I have considered that. <laughs> decided no. Georgian says, amateur study tactics, professional study football. <laughs> Get going whenever you're ready. Alright, come to... Uh, come hard again. Yeah, like I said, you're going to come around the back. Cause we're gonna we're gonna go for we're gonna go for this, okay. What is your will? The turrets still need a little bit of help, right? Yeah. Yes, most beneficent one. Uh XCOM please dad is still chilling over here. We still want to get this sentinel uh, through the back line here. Probably bring it over to here, actually. Tangible says so many people are still in the transports. Yes, and they will. Most of them will remain there for his inch mission, unless yes, forced out. Boss. Reporting for duty, sir. Because trust me, it's a lot better than going out there. Um, the Emperor protects. Step back. Let's try and get you out there too. There's never hill you can get onto. Like, can you get up here? Yes, but I'm not sure you can get any further. Katzen. Katzen. Oh, we can get you over here though. Let's go. Well, let's wait until the Sentinel in case there's enemies over there. There might be enemies over there. Since it's legit legitimately horrifying the fight. Yeah, it, it, they're just like, as is fitting of Zinch, super fucking annoying because of their mind control. So you have to like fight them really differently to all the other enemies. Luckily though, we have Ogrins, which I've been told are like more resistant to mind control. So the Ogrins can go in as a unit after we've 
pacified the exterior of the UFO a bunch. And as long as the Ogrens are leading the way, we can have the Guardsmen follow behind. The main thing is just line of sight. Just don't let your Guardsmen be spotted by witches. Because as soon as they get spotted by witches, they can be mind control for the rest of the map. You know? That's the main thing here. I'll turn you to here. You come back down. Where are those damn tech priests? Uh, here. Yes, Lord. The Emperor protects. Sweet little tech priests. How could you call them damn tech priests? Sweet little tech priests. Yes, Lord. You're gonna come here and uh, help defend the Sentinel as needed. Yeah, you just gotta play these missions like you cannot afford a single mind control because you really can't. Ah! Hey, what? Oh, shit. Fuck, that AoE splashes down onto the ground. No! No, and they're a crab! My boy is a crab! No! This is terrible! Run! Oh, the servitor's on fire! No! No! No, the sentinel's on fire! There's no way to put it out either! Is there? I don't think there's any way to put out fires. Oh, my front armor. Oh, jeez. This one will just die? I mean, it's getting there. Do these explode? Oh, it's melee anyway. So Stomp is the one. Oh, step on that crab. Nice job. That's true. This is what, this is what you get for leaving the chimera. It's true. Poor it's come, please, dad. Hello, contact. Servitors are so useful, too, because they also can't be mind-controlled. Didn't Horn Honk extinguish? Sentinels ready to deploy. Wait, does it? Did Philip do that because Philip's a god? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Philip! Yes! Yes! Oh, Stratical, what a memory. Clowns, just like mimes, cannot truly yes, be harmed by fire. One. Great call. Ready to act. Okay, however, still in danger here. And and poor support Philip cannot be saved like that. Poor, poor support Philip is in grave danger. Yes, Lord. Hmm. Come here, support Phillips. Your armor is good, even though your health is fucked. Phillips says the horn is technically a med kit. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm glad that there is an option. Um, oh, speaking of med kits, that means I can save you. Hang on. Because... There's no one there. No... No, they're not biological. I can't heal them to put out the fire. Support Philip is burning. Sentinels ready to deploy. Poor, poor support Philip. My goodness. Stratical, is it true that they need to see me on their turn, not just for a loss? Or are you saying like they need to spot you on their turn to get you from mind control? Because that would be- that would change how you fight Zinch a lot if it just meant you couldn't stay in their loss. I wonder if that's true. Reporting for There's duty, no reason sir. that should be true, but if it was, I could, for example, do things like take sniper shots and peek again. You need to read some reaction shots? I- I have. Philip says it's true. Are- are you being legit for serious, Philip? Like, if they- If they see you during your own turn, you don't get added to- their mind control death note list. Because that changes how we play against each a lot. Like, we can shoot them with the guardsmen, we just have to hide again at the end of the turn. That would, that would be a big difference. Because I'm not talking about them needing line of sight to shoot you, because they don't need line of sight uh, to mind control you, because they don't need line of sight to mind control you. We know that much. They just need to have seen you at some point in the battle. But... 
But if there's a wrinkle to that rule that they have to have seen you on their turn, then we can do a lot more against Zinch, which would be good news. Would be very, very good news. I don't know why that rule would be a thing, but if it is, that would be very, very good news. Phil says they need loss to mind control you for the hundredth time. They don't! I swear they don't! I understand they should, but I, I swear to you, I have literally put people behind chimeras and shit and had them mind controlled. I have watched it happen, Philip. I have watched it happen. I have watched people that they have no loss on get mind controlled. I swear to God. I don't know why it's happening, but this is why I play against Zinch like this. I swear to fucking God, I've hidden people behind APCs and they just mind control them. Like, straight up. Serialistic says they do need to see you. All right. You know what? We're gonna save. We're gonna save the game. Maybe you didn't see the spotter. No, no, I, like, I've been on the edge of the map like this. Both corners in broad daylight, no cover observed, no units there. Hidden units behind to avoid loss mind control and get mind control and they kill everyone. I swear to God! Frick says it's possible they have some form of squad sight side vision at range. Yeah, but then why don't they do it if I never show them? You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking like, the UFO is here and I'm here, by the way, when people say Psy Vision but short, is short-ranged. Like, no, like, I've had, like, the last unit in the UFO is a witch on, like, the second floor and I'm, like, here pushing it. And she just mind controls everyone, doesn't give a fuck. 100%. They, they, they might be meant to need it, but they don't. I'm telling you, they do not. And that's why mind control is so insane to me. We're gonna save the game. And I'll, I'll play like that. I'll play like that is true. I will play like that is true. And we're going to see what happens. It'll make the game a lot easier. I hope it's true. I hope somehow I'm like insane. Oh, um, game options, by the way. I gotta turn that thing back on. Uh, strict whatever. As someone mentioned it. I shit on them. It makes the game way easier if, it, if, it, if it's not true. I hope it's not true. Philip says, I will go give the mind control into a player unit and I will test it out. It, I don't know, like, the AI just cheats. I swear, it's, it's not even about the, what the player can do. The AI just cheats. I swear the AI just cheats. Ready to serve. For sure, but we'll, we'll, we'll play like it's, that's not true and we'll see what happens. Let everyone pop up. I think your tech pieces on fire. They are, but I don't think I can do anything about it. Nice shooting. Ready for action. Okay, you are there. Well, the Acutrans last gun, me too, I love it. The only reason With I stopped using the Acutrans is because it can't um, use hotshot po pots eventually. Is the only reason it kind of like falls out of favor for me. Can't hotshot pot. We got them against the rope. Dig in. Ready to serve. Is there any way I can put the servitor out? Like if I inspire them or something? I wonder. You sure? Ready for action. We're here. Okay. <laughs> Only a sign or anything shit? Okay. Well, I'm sure they'll just put themselves out after a minute. Yes, Lord. Probably okay. Fuck. Just never, never leave. Just never leave the APCs again, Zinch. Just never do it. Oh, she exposed herself though, that's good. That's very good, she exposed herself for that to happen. Fuck you. They're in loss. No, no, I know. They, they were in loss. That, that, that's legit. 
I was hoping that this person wouldn't be spotted, but they totally were, and they they were in range to get MC'd. What is your Oh name? poor support Philip? Poor poor support Philip. It's okay though because no one's in front of them and they're like braced, dug in, so it's like Oh god. Oh god, they're looking at me! <laughs> don't move! Don't fucking move! Whatever you do, I don't know why they didn't shoot me, but whatever you do, don't fucking move. Just don't make them react at you. Oh god. <laughs> I think a trade of shoot just wasn't successful. Oh, thank god then. Not everyone deserves to be saved. That's right, we're not gonna get crowded if we don't move. Cause the microshell wears off instantly, so it's okay. As long as they don't get their reactions on you, that is. Sentinel goes over here. Yes, most beneficent one. Oh, this poor won't someone put out this poor what saboteur? Oh, it's horrible. I will do as you ask. Repair them! What Did that... is your will? I'm trying to fix yes, you, friend! Sir. I'm trying to fix you! <laughs> Alright, I guess it's time for next turn. Maybe it'll save support field by stunning him. Ooh, that's a good idea. Wait, it's an HWP though. Does the fire get put out if you stun? Does Ogren Fist do normal damage or does it only do stun? Or do I need to pull the, the stun shotgun over for this? Here to serve. So realistic, last time you counseled me on someone who was on fire, they did not survive. Phil says I'm stunning me IRC. Oh, rep. Jeff says, I, I see the Philips pixel axle on the world sprite. I thought it was on the, on the inventory sprite. Oh, you're right! That's so cute! That's way cuter than the normal sprite, too. You need a stun rod? Oh. We'll do it next turn if nothing else happens. Okay. Time for some payback. Make sure we haven't left any lieutenants on the turrets. And next turn. No! No! <laughs> Support Philip! No! It's so sad! Ah! Their mask fell off. Standing by. <laughs> Philip died so Nary could live. I'm not sure it was related. Yeah, Anarian's back under our control, it's true. Oh shit! Motherfucker! Oh puta! Why did Anarian panic? Because this Well, I'm probably related to being mind control, but also because support Philip died, I guess. We can get going whenever you're ready. Oh shit, and you're stuck there. We gotta kill that fucker. Can you make an incredibly long bomb grenade? I feel like you can't grenade that far. I gotta mortar again. Pass this uh, mortar to... Hmm. Reporting for duty, sir. Okay, hold on. Mortar. Go on the roof. It's time for another big pass. It's all we do around here is big passes for... Oh, shit. Gotta say, I like the new gear. For big guards. 
following orders. Ogren. Accepts the ball. Elevator. Makes the toss. Holy shit! Touchdown! Let them have it! Insane! Nice. Mortar is the MVP again, Zinch. There is, there is, there's no fucking question. Cause like Nurgle pushes you, but Zinch wants to play the hide and cover and fuck of you game, so you just mortar the shit out of them, un unless they stay in the UFO. Mortar is the anti-Zinch weapon. It's true. Mortar is God's gift, the Emperor's gift, to kill cowardly Zinch soldiers. Bless the Emperor for this bounty. Hipfire Motor is very silly. It's basically because by... With, with the waypointing of the, the... The... Waypointing system, like, the accuracy loss doesn't matter as much. I think the only way you could really fix that is, like... Making the fire cost of the mortar much, much higher. Um, because it is very low right now, to be fair. Like, making it so you really have to, like, sh pick between shooting it or moving would probably make more sense for the mortar rather than getting to do both. That's, that's probably the way you'd have to nerf the mortar, is just, like, make the TU cost al almost maximum. Blinky says, I bet I could hit fire a mortar. Of course, I could probably only do it once. <laughs> oh, poor XCOM, please, Dad, man. Basically dead, because I believe in the fear of mind control getting you after you've been spotted once. And I made them, like... Like on Survivor, exiled them from the Chimera. Let's buy some more of this shit. Oh, seven of skull. Lucky, you're promoted. XCOM, please, Dad, you died. Rippin' Pete's. And yeah, that, that terror mission, you have to like go on those instantly, I guess, because that immediately went away. Rip. What a shame. That is gonna hurt in the points department. Oh, very good. Well, regardless, the mission is a success. Oh, we have another one. Strata says, please, I'm fine, yells XCOM, please, down after they lock the Chimera door. It was pretty heartless of us, I must agree. It was pretty heartless. Alright, splash this fucking thing, literally. Like he, oh, he, he can't trust him anymore. He's been seen by them. Throw him outside. They turn into a fucking crab. The guards come out after the mission is one and look at his body. Yeah, I told you something was wrong with him. See, he would have turned into a crab in the Chimera. <laughs> Good thing we stopped him. <laughs> All right, we're getting through our research pretty good now. Meltagon. This, 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 this. I want all of this. Melter takes a while. Regiment missions is quick, so do regiment missions. Light melter ammo and <gasps> hot shot power cell. What else we got here? I could buy another mounted every boulder if I wanted it. I feel like we're kind of doing okay though with one HWP. 
If I knew it was Zinch going in, I gotta get Craft Auxiliary Systems so I know it's Zinch Mission. Then you can bring a different loadout. You can bring double HWPs. I want those hotshot cells, please, and thank you. Uh, I'll take one light melted gun. I, I haven't even got the ammo for it yet, I guess, so I don't even bother. Because it's weird like that, you gotta like, get both. You gotta research everything. Hello dogs, be quiet. My window is open today, so that I don't die from the black lung, so... Everyone has to listen to you. Silence dogs, silence. Can't buy all of that. Let's have a look at your manufacturing, see if we can save money manufacturing our own cells. Let's see. Cost Prometheum? Nah. For the hot shots, that is. We can make the other ones, no problem, but I don't really want the other ones. I can just buy them too, I guess. Can I make melter canisters? No, I still need to research it. Oh yeah, am I making a second lab, by the way? We should probably make like a second lab. Get our research going even quicker! I can't afford it yet. Is there anything expensive I can sell? I can sell power sources, don't do that. I'm not allowed to sell warp drives. Oh no! I need more crack missiles! Hurry, hurry. Buy more of these. Very small UFO in upper atmosphere. Let's go get it. Okay. Thunderbolt 1. Go chill with Thunderbolt 2. Take that. You need to take that shit. For good. Yep, yeah, they're on the way. They're on the way. Oh, another one. Getting started now, god damn. Go to lost enemy position. Ooh, shit, a base. That's a small cultist base, right? We could probably take that with the chimeras. We should go get that immediately. Circle says it had an interception mission. Might be a base defense photo check area. Would you mean the small one or this one? Let's go take this out before it gets any bigger. Time for a five-hour base assault. No, in this game, base assaults aren't quite as crazy. Um, we need another grunt for Team Teal, I believe it was. Exclamation mark raffle. Though... Odds are this is Zinch still, right? Or does Zinch just fly around? Odds are this is Zinch. Maybe instead of bringing an extra soldier, we should... Ah, but we've been told that they need line of sight. You know what? They need line of sight, so it's fine. Just bring the extra soldier. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. You replace here. Titya. Gonna bring server skull. Or one server skull. Phosphor grenade, now that could end up being handy, couldn't it? I still haven't given Gorgs their combat knife, I gotta do that. Mm, more hot shots, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
And another support Philip. Oh, is that what we're really missing? No, we have two support Philips. It's fine. They were automatically replaced. Damn, that's cold. Okay, Titcha. Who is Titcha actually? Let's find out. Hang on. Titcha is... Croker, wait, doesn't Croker already, no, Croker died in one of the original ones, it's fine. Croker's back, baby! Croker's back! Nice, great, great job and well-deserved, Croker. Well done as always, my dear friend. Handing it to you for another great raffle. <laughs> well done, well done! Oh, that, that's the wrong one to pre-prime. Hang on, don't do that. Hey, yo, you, you want to give a hand to Croker for this one? Wow. Great job, Croker. Amazing. Oh, they can't stop applauding. <laughs> no, actually, prime that other grenade. Do you have to do proof? Let me see what you have sent me. Oh, package stash drink as well, thank you. Proof. Yeah. No, I, I believe it, Philip. I've always believed you when you said that you requiring Psy needed line of Psy. I remember. I believe you and I remember, Philip. I've always believed this. I'm looking right now, you can't see, but I'm looking at Philip uh, trying to use player mind control with the same item the witches have. No, I know. I, I've always believed this, Philip. I've always believed you on this. The problem is not that I don't believe you. I, I know that like the literal rules of the game also say that those witches need line of sight. I'm just saying, they've done it to me. There are three lights, or whatever. Like, I, it, it's happened. I've, I've seen it happen to me. I don't know what, like, kind of, like, loss bug or hacking Brutal AI does. But I've seen it happen, I swear to God. But we're gonna, we're gonna play from now on. We're gonna play from now on. Like, Mind Control requires Line of Sight on the turn they use it to Mind Control you. And if we see it happen again in a way that doesn't, it'll be on stream. Until then, we're gonna say, okay, you know what, we're gonna have a little, have a little faith. We say, you know, you know what, it's fine. It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. It just doesn't work that way. Should I make Dash Billions into a pilot? So they get even more accuracy? Yeah, until we see it happen on stream, Philip's right. If I get illegal MC'd, um, danger, danger. That's right, danger, danger. Where's the other destroyers so I can fill them with hot shots? Also, when they got mind control, nothing bad happens. That was nice. We, we really liked it when that happened. That was good. That was that was good. Blinky, what are you singing? Uh, Gorgs, you want your combat knife, but then how will you have a reload for your flamer? So realistic, the only time this could happen is if you're in side vision range, which is very close, typically. No, I, 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 I know that's when it should be happening. I believe it. Phil Gorgs, you have to get rid of your motion tracker if you want to bring a, a knife. Gorgs, are you here to, to say this? I have to assume that this is what Gorgs wants and give the motion tracker to someone else. Blinky says, how dare you? What is this song? Electric Six Danger. I have no idea what this is. I have zero idea what that is. Take all of Gorg's equipment, they don't need it. They, they haven't fired that flamer so far, it is true. Is everything fucked again? God. 
every it's time keeping people alive that's hard a single person changes order reporting sir i'm gonna shit myself with fury yeah gorg said we raffle their soldier too oh on on god cool 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 didn't know that very cool <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Str Strata, did they say um, we raffle them to what you? Is your will? All right. Just going on a hunch here. Is that what they said? That would be so crazy. Well, here. Strata says no, not to me. Oh, interesting. Standing by. They just said not to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Now, that would be unethical, wouldn't it? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Well, here. Camelef always seems to be like passing ammo around, so here you go. Croker, you're part of the command team. Um, the command team does not, I want to squash this rumor now, does not throw people out of the Chimera when they get like a little bit scared. There's no like mafia esque party games happening in the Chimera. It's all fine. That's not happening. The Emperor protects. And no one thinks that's happening. So if you're saying that's happening, you're telling lies. We can get going whenever you're ready. <laughs> that's... Well, here. It's just not a thing. It, uh, it's, it's false. It's completely Reporting, false. And you're done. We're going on a mission. To enemy base. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Nice. Got him on the last hit. Fire Rats says this is an interesting mod. It is an interesting mod. It's very fun and cool. <gasps> Bird Trades is complete! Huzzah! <laughs> now we can buy so many things that we kind of already have. We can buy more of Australian las guns. Um, Fossus and Akatrans. Spend it all on trade goods. Yeah, I don't. Wanna, I haven't got a lot of money right now, so I probably, I probably don't want to spend like a lot of it just yet. Probably just gonna hold on there for the minute. <laughs> Boss weapons. <laughs> This is a great track. I feel like I'm playing Tactics Ogre. What is this? Durandal. Great track. You must go in a score. Camaro 1. Okay, who's ready for a great mission? Base assault time. And it's not at night. Purge the traitors for their heresy. Kill their spiritual leaders in communion with the ruinous power of the warp. Will it cause the cultists to abandon this place? The mission will terminate when all enemies are eliminated or any troops have returned to the craft. Excellent. We must kill Chaos's spiritual leaders. <laughs> Whoops, that's wrong. Whoops, that's wrong too. Matt Ward? No, not Matt Ward. To battle! Wait, I have another officer's chainsword. Someone should take this. Someone in this team should have this in, in Team Teal. Do either of you have, like, good bravery or... 
Yeah, good bravery. No. Oh, Lowboy's got great bravery. Lowboy is super brave. Like the only person who is brave. Lowboy, promotion. Oh, because you're a fucking Krieger. Anyway, promotion. It's fine. Promotion. You get a Voss Carbine. Lloyd boy, you're like a Krieg inspirer here. You you are Sergeant Lloyd boy, Master Chief Lloyd boy. Very good for you. Ah, oh, ground control theme, I love it. Makes it makes me want to play 